Hello friends, welcome back. As usual, it's been way too long since our last video. Vacation and work has uh, kept me busy and hopping, but I am far from complaining. Everything is good for me, so hey, that's part of life, I guess. Um, as always, uh, check out Dixieland RC. Uh, you can find them on Facebook and uh, send them a PM message, whatever, and uh, they'll help you out with anything you need. And while I'm also at it, I am fortunate enough this year to be a dark side 3D printing team driver. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get to as many events, and I do feel bad about that. But uh, needless to say, I've been still enjoying the, uh, the, the stuff that the other team drivers are being able to do right now currently. And uh, I'm enjoying the products. I truly am. So... Uh, in terms of the products, what's, what, what do they offer? Well, here is a little propane tank. And what's beautiful about this propane tank is it's already painted. Uh, people like myself that I, I don't have the time. And I don't just want a, a off-the-printer propane tank sitting. Uh, look at that. It's great. He did a terrific job making it rusty. Uh, it looks good. And it looks good in the back of a truck, too. Um, you know, he's got coolers and the lids do pop off They're you know, they're like a lot of the other coolers with the lids popping removable and it, it has a good firm pop back on the lids, not popping off on you. Uh, I was kind of impressed with how good the lid stayed on it. So, and this one here, I really enjoyed also. I thought it was pretty cool. Now, the milk jugs that are in the, in it did not come with it. I want to stress that, so don't expect it to come with the milk jugs. I grabbed them at Michael's a while back before I ever had this milk crate. And um, I threw them in there, and boy, it, it works pretty good. I need to get more of them so it fills it up. Uh, and you could see it would fit, uh, you know, nine milk crates without any problem at all. It fit perfect in there. So Or nine... Um, jugs of milk it fit perfect but yeah i mean that, that's what they're offering and you can get stuff in any color you want and do it however you'd like to now these are his standard length sand ladders uh what i was impressed with was they're very well they're infilled nicely they're rigid uh, and the points really do grip the tires i know this one they look fairly clean and i did the main mainly the testing on them dry because they don't I want to see how they function dry before I need to worry about getting them wet and dirty and muddy and everything else. And then also, it doesn't make for very good pictures when everything's covered in mud. So, now with that being said, um, they were the standard length ones. And to kind of give you an idea, that's my, my Marlin truck bed, which is... Uh, Shorter than, you know, the standard TF2 bed. So, and I talked to him, and I kind of wanted something a little bit longer and a little bit wider. And that's where I came up with these. So, he made these. These are still extremely strong, even though they're longer. And, uh... Of course, I picked the color. I picked yellow just so they're easy to find if I drop them in the woods or the boy drops them or whoever drops them. And to kind of give you an idea, trying to get the light to cooperate, you can see the black. That is off my tires. That's right. That That's how good my tires was digging and trying to grip these things. So, uh, you know, in terms of, of traction, you know, they... Uh, I didn't have any problems with them gripping. So, and of course, you can customize some sand ladders yourself. Do a little here and a little there. To kind of give you a size comparison. And you can get this exact same thing for yourself. What I love about them is they still... Now I get that wood in the back. But it still fits both sides. And... But the main thing is it still fits in the truck bed. I'm going to have something that actually holds stuff in the truck bed. Uh, but this size difference, just for 
And literally all it was was a message to him. Hey, I want him to be this long by this wide. And you can see I, I increased the width slightly and the length by about an inch and a half. And you can do that yourself. So, you know, the options are available for you. Uh, send them a message if, if you're not positive what you want and you two can figure it out and come up with an idea. So, finally through that. Um, Dixieland and Darkside 3D printing. Check them both out on Facebook. Uh, in terms of Darkside, you can send them an email at elite jace, elite images jason at gmail.com. So you can do that and uh, get a hold of them that way as well. So, in terms of what's next for the channel, well, first off, we have a new project. Uh, that's right, the Enduro has arrived. So, uh, we have a build to do with the Enduro. Also, um, that Enduro build will probably be like three uh, parts, possibly. Two to three parts. It's going to be initial thoughts video, first off. So, whenever I first do the initial thoughts video, it is not my review. It is just my initial thoughts. Exactly how I did the Hobby Wing Axe. If you remember, I did a, a basic, took it out, soldered it up, turned it on one or two times, and got an idea on the system, and just gave an initial thoughts. It was not a review. And after that, I did a, a, a final thoughts, final review with it. Now, speaking of the Hobby Wing Axe, kind of getting off subject of the Enduro, uh, it is time to do another Hobby Wing Axe video. The new update is out. I've had some questions on my other videos about the Hobby Wing Axe and referring to the new update and... You know, I'm ta talking in the comments, she did changes this, that, and I'm just sitting there while I'm typing thinking, I just need to do a video and be done with it. Also, I want it to stay relevant, because I feel if I have stuff that has changed, or changed with a fairly large update like the Axe did, uh, it, it should be published. It should be made available, even though there's already videos on it. Um, it's always good to have more than one or two opinions, or three or four or twenty um, not everybody thinks the same. That is the number one thing everybody must keep in mind in this hobby. Not everybody has the same thought process or the same opinion about stuff. So, you know, collect data with a grain of salt. Take what you think is the most important parts and make that your own thoughts. So, in general. So, look for the Hobby Wing Axe uh, new edition firmware update review. In terms of the Enduro, it will be like the Axe, uh, multiple parts, initial thoughts, final review, and maybe an in-depth teardown of what I'm seeing or what I think is a terrible idea or what I think is a tremendous idea, and I absolutely love it. So that is what's coming up. So this video was essentially uh, talking to you a little bit more about Dixieland, a little bit more about Dark Side, um, going over the... The plans for the next few videos with the Enduro and the um, Hobby Wing Axe. Uh, also, I believe there will be some 10-2 videos coming. And the question for you guys. I got TRX-4s out the wazoo. Um, I have a lot of them. The family has a lot of TRX-4s. Um, and I have an interesting story to tell you. We lost a TRX-4 a while back at a at a event. Um, my wife's TRX-4, we lost it. It, uh, it went bub eyes off a 20 foot cliff into a raging waterfall and down a river. So it went bub eyes. Needless to say, I had bought and already started rebuilding that TRX-4 the exact same way hers was. Um, so I need to put winches in it. I need to do all kinds of stuff. I'm also going to do that with the Enduro as well. But are you guys interested in TRX-4 videos. There is a ton of TRX-4 videos out there, but not a whole lot from me. So if that's something you're interested in, we can get that on as well. I plan on doing more. I have a little space now that's away that I can do some videos. So, and hopefully with September comes slower, or with August. I know mid-August, I'll be slower at work. It's, it's a fact. So, um, I also have some events planned for... 
uh, September, hopefully one for August. I'm waiting to see when the hobby shop, uh, that's a couple hours from me, is going to have an event. I may try to make it to it. So, if, uh, you know, if you guys are interested in TRX4 videos, whatever they may be, uh, I can definitely go over that. And uh, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Uh, the Marlin also is not done. Uh, that one is the only one I actually have a name for. Uh, the the TF2, the Marlin, I call White Knuckles. So, White Knuckles uh, is definitely not finished and is definitely going to have more videos. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble on for 10 minutes. Um, if you're like me, sometimes I just turn videos on, driving down the road and listen to them. I don't watch them. Don't do that. But I listen to them. So, it's kind of what this video is like. If you want to rewind and see what the actual products look like I showed, please do so. Otherwise, check out the next video whenever it comes out. Thank you so much for hanging in there. Uh, I know I'm not a channel that pumps stuff out daily or three times a day. And quite frankly, I'll never be that channel. So don't expect it. Uh, other than that, definitely thank you for hanging with me. Check out the companies. Show some support. Help out your fellow hobbyist. And uh, don't be a jerk. It's that simple. Uh, speaking of one other thing. Uh, check out uh, Facebook, uh, RC Crawlers and Scalers United. Uh, that is a group we have. Uh, I don't name it after the YouTube channel because it, it has a different purpose. It has a bigger, bigger, broad spectrum of what it's for. So check it out. Ask a request to get into it. We'll add you. Please do that. Um, also, uh, I don't do a whole lot of shout outs, but... Check out Dixieland RC YouTube. Uh, you can find them in my uh, suggested YouTube channels. And also check out um, 11 Charlie RC. Uh, guy does awesome stuff. He does uh, veterans builds. I participate in the last build. It was awesome. I was psyched to do it. I love helping out if I can. I mean, I, I can only do so much sometimes as most people can, but I was stoked to do it. So check out 11 Charlie RC. Um, you know, that's uh, dudes giving back. Uh, there's another channel. I'll, I'll try to post it in the comments. Um, really good dude. Uh, Ridgeline. I know his, uh, he goes by Ridgeline. Um, but awesome dude doing builds for veterans and things of that nature. Purple Hearts or uh, just some great people. And they are veterans themselves. So... You know, definitely, uh, definitely shout out to them. And uh, I think his name was Scale Trail Performance STP. Um, so check him out. If I got it wrong, I'm sorry. I'll fix it in the uh, uh, box below. So you take care. Thank you. Sorry for holding you up so long, but I had to get them out there. Thanks. Take care, everybody.